Hello there. I am Jo Lynn Shane. I run a fashion and lifestyle blog for women. Um, and one of the most common questions that I get is how to cut a pair of blue jeans um, with a bra hem. And it's very simple. I have a pair of jeans here that I love. They fit great, but they're a little too long and I want to just trim off the ends. And really, honestly, it's as simple as that, <laughs> but I still get a lot of questions about this. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. And I have tried these jeans on and I have some before pictures um, that show them at their current length. And I also have a pair of jeans that is almost the perfect length for me that I love, this pair. So one way you can determine the length you want is if you have a pair that you love, you can just um, compare the two and then cut off the longer pair to match the shorter pair. You can also put on the longer pair and you can cuff them to different lengths with the shoes that you want to wear with them and figure out the length that you want. And then you can um, mark that and cut them. I've done it both ways. But for this um, video, I'm just gonna compare to the pair that I have because why not? They're perfect. So you just wanna make sure that they're lined up. And I could not quite get my camera to show my uh, work table here. I cannot, there we go. <laughs> A little farther away, but hopefully you can still hear me. So, I'm gonna take the, the pair that I like, and I'm going to, um, I buttoned them already, and then I'm just gonna make sure they're folded nice um, and flat. The seams are all lined up. And I'm gonna fold them with the pocket, the rear pockets on the outside like that. So that one's ready to be used as my guide. This is the pair that I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna also fold them the same direction. So the pockets, the rear pockets are on top, um, nice and straight, make sure that they're even. And I'm gonna lay them on the bottom and I'm gonna lay this pair right on top. And because the waist may be different, you don't wanna use that as the marker. Um, you wanna use the inseam. So I wanna make sure my two inseams are lined up. Um, the correct length is on top of the other one. Now you can always go shorter, so it's always better to cut off not enough and go back and cut more than to cut too much the first time. So if you wanna err on one side or the other, always err on the side of not cutting quite as much off because you can always go back and cut more. Um, if you have fabric chalk and you wanna measure and draw a straight line, you can do that. I am not that precise and it is ne I've never messed up a pair of jeans. So um, I don't bother with all that. I really just lay them down and eye it up and cut. Um, but you do wanna cut one leg at a time and you wanna make sure again, that they're, um, the length, the hems are lined up. Like the two legs are the same are at the same place. So you know that they're, um, you know, you're going to be cutting them both at the same place. <laughs> so they will match when you're done. Um, the other, the only thing you really need is a pair of good fabric scissors. And I really do think um, that is a good idea to have. I had these be for my quilting days. You can buy them on Amazon. Um, you can use regular scissors, but these are going to be really, really nice and sharp and they're made for cutting fabric. So I think they're ideal. Um, I will be sure to link the details in the video description below. So my jeans are laid out. I think you can maybe see them. There's a, maybe an inch and a half difference between the two. So I am going to cut the, the one leg and leave the second leg down. I'm not going to cut them both at the same time, but I'm going to just use the line of the, sh the shorter jeans as my guide and just cut along there. Now, if you folded them, before you can measure with a ruler and kind of, you know, get an idea of how much you want to cut off. And again, you can always cut off more 
Um, this is not an exact science. So they're lined up. I'm going to lift up the one. I'm going to actually fold the bottom one and up so it's not in the way. And then I'm going to keep them down flat and I'm just going to snip. And I'm not worried about cutting any of the frayed edges off of the, the pair that I like because they will fray more. <laughs> um, so if, they, if I cut a little of the fray off, it's not gonna bother me. So that's, there's you go, one is done. So then I'm gonna remove the pair that I used as my guide. And the pair that's left, I'm gonna unfold the bottom. Um, so now, I can use the one that I just cut as my guide. And I'm gonna do the same thing, cut the second one. And there you go. So they should match up. Um, the next thing is um, how do you make the hemline look more, um, you know, ragged really you know right now it's just, a, it's just a straight cut but the ones that i cut off you can t tell they have you know more of a frayed edge to them um, i'm not a fan of like fraying them and sewing a, a line you don't need to do that they're not going to continue to fray forever the ones that i purchased these are ag farah rahem jeans and they came basically just cut right off um to, to make it look a little more worn in and frayed it'll happen over time you don't really have to do anything at this point. The one thing you can do is throw them in the washing machine, wash them on cold, hang them to dry. They will come out frayed, starting to fray, and they will look perfect. If you want to speed the process along, you want to go out tonight and wear them, you can take your fabric scissors and you can just, you know, rough them up a little bit. Very tiny little, um, I'm just taking really tiny stitches here. Um, and they're not even full stitches. I mean, I'm not even going in just a millimeter and you can do it, you know, you can do them one at a time. I'm doing them together just in the interest of time. Um, and I'm not going to worry about getting them too perfect here, but seriously, usually what I do is I throw them in the washing machine and by the time they come out of the washer, they're fray, they're starting to fray and they're great. You don't have to worry about the seams coming apart. You don't have to worry about them fraying too much. Um, once they get a little too frayed, you've got long strings dangling, just snip those off. Um, that happens over time with any pair of jeans that you buy with a raw hem. Um, you can also take your fingernails and you can kind of rough them up a little bit this way and kind of get the frame to start. Um, and it's just, you know, much more of an art than a science. So whatever you like, however you want it to look, um, you can just kind of work on them for a few minutes and start roughing them up, get them a little bit frayed and started. So they look a little more uh, natural and not like freshly cut, but that's all there is to it. Like that's it, I'm done. Um, like I said, I will throw them in the wash to get the, the edges to um, look a little more uh, worn in and natural and hang them to dry. I always hang my jeans to dry. Drying your jeans will wear out the elastic, um, the, la the elastane, whatever stretchy stuff is in them. And um, it'll actually make them you could shrink them at first, but it'll actually make them bag out over time. So um, that's all there is to it. And I didn't even have to pay a tailor. And I have trendy Rahim jeans that are now the exact length that I want them. So I hope that video was helpful. I will link up um, any information, the scissors. I will link up the jeans that I'm working on in case you're interested. They're a great pair of jeans. I love them. And I will also link up my blog post where I'm going to um, share this video along with before and after pictures of me wearing the jeans. So you can see the before and after and how they turned out. Uh, I'd love for you to follow along and subscribe to my blog if you are interested in more fashion for, um, for women. I, I hate to say women over 40. I'm over 40. A lot of my readers are over 40, but you don't have to be. So um, basically just everyday fashion for um, women who like accessible style. So that's what I do. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful.